Hello and welcome to a new video of Penpot. It's glad to have you here. Today we are going to do a made with Penpot uh, design stuff. I'm going to do a, you know, the I call it the smart smartwatch uh, design challenge because I'm going to create some concept interface for a for a smartwatch. Okay, so let's go through this. Okay, so the idea is to do an exercise i love to do this kind of exercise uh, challenging myself and most of the time i'm designing i spend my time designing penpot and and i don't want to forget uh, to to be in touch with the rest of the tech stuff uh, around there so uh, yes i love to do this this kind of exercise because of that so in this case we are going to create a ui concept for this smartwatch um, i prepare like this kind of briefing imagine like you have uh, some instructions to do to do this this challenge so the, the instructions are or the i put uh, extra conditions for myself which are i am going to design in uh, this resolution because this is the most standard I I found and uh, I'm going to investigate in gestures you know uh, interacting with the smartwatch and accessibility and reliability I'm going to be jumpy a little jumpy jumping between explanations about what I'm doing and uh, you know working uh, so yeah yes let's go through this Okay, so uh, I've prepared, uh, before start, I prepared this color palette. Check the, the contrast, because it's important, you know, in order to the reliability and accessibility. So yes, uh, I'm going to create the variables uh, in, in Penpot, and yeah, let's continue. Another thing that I want to comment is that uh, I'm going to use these circum icons which are available here in our libraries and templates. Uh, okay, Penpot libraries and templates, you can download it from here. We have a few more templates that uh, will be help you uh, will help you in your in your design. So I'm going to use this circum icon pack. Uh, because I found it really, you know, really useful, and uh, yeah, I already imported uh, the library here. Okay, so uh, yes, I already create an artboard. I'm going to start creating this step screen, you know, this step features that all the smartwatches will have, which uh, shows you, uh, allows you the, the possibility to, to see the the steps you did or you are doing during the day and you know you have a threshold uh, or a limit you have to beat so i'm going to start with with this screen okay i think i'm going to to do four screens more uh, probably uh, you know the oxygen level uh, and probably the uh, a call screen Incoming call, and I don't know uh, the weather one. Yeah, we'll see. So let's go. So, um, yep, I drop all the info there and I uh, create 
uh, to start with something these new typography variables <laughs> looking for this data the steps left so uh, yeah I think uh, now uh, I it's in the second secondary information is is more readable and is more you know highlighted and I used the same color as the threshold because it you know it's related you are going to beat this this threshold if you complete this number of, of steps so well you know anyway so let's continue with the the second screen I'm going to do probably uh, yeah this is going to do the the weather one okay let's go Okay, so let's st stop one moment. Uh, use this uh, visual asset, this dot, in order to indicate that it's a draggable phone, the most important uh, draggable phone of the watch. Uh, well, as you know, you can drag uh, uh, from uh, right to left, etc., to change sections uh, and, and, you know, to change parameters. Uh, but the most important uh, drag zone is the bottom one and I uh, want to indicate like that because it's the main menu you're using these uh, three comic icons the weather ones they have here and yeah it's, it's you know it's a standard weather screen which the current uh, you know temperature change of rain and here the you know this go at 11 12 1 and 2 you can check the weather that will come so yep uh, let's continue with the second well with the third screen So yeah, I'm going to create this this button as a component. So mm, I'm going to name it as primary button. I don't know if I will need more. And yeah, create component. So now and my assets I have. Okay, so let's continue. card placeholder or card design because don't know I, I always love to play with these things uh, using overlays and this stuff because you know it's, it's really easy to do variants of these uh, designs um, picking this one and yes it's as I said it's, it's really easy to create design variants like changing the the color really fast for example turning this design to to light blue I masked these these two shapes and you only have to go to the to the uh, background of the of the card and play with the with the colors so for example let's do uh, purple yeah purple blue for example works fine what if purple and
Okay, so, well, I'm not finished with this, but uh, I'm going to use, uh, you know, a full screen uh, filled and covered by the, the profile photo of the, of the person is calling you. And yes, in this case, I'm using uh, this portrait of a woman from Pexels. Let's continue because here I think we can play with these gestures, uh, interactions that I said. I'm trying to, to play with the gestures, uh, you know, if you drag and drop from the uh, bottom left corner, um, you will take the call and you will finish the call if you do in you know in the reverse way from the bottom right corner uh, to the left so uh, yeah say hello hello I'm a kitty and yeah I think I will do two or three more probably heartbeat oxygen and maybe chat screens but I think is is enough for the video but you will have all these design stuff in probably a new library so yeah thank you for watching